Please wait while I verify your identity. Identity confirmed. Please proceed. Hello, and welcome to the Counter-Terrorist Special Training Facility. Please proceed to the elevator. They are waiting for you in the training areas. The training course is just ahead. Greetings, Operative. The first moves you will practice are related to basic movement. Press your duck key to navigate under these obstacles. Good. You will now need to jump up on these boxes to proceed. To enter this vent, you will need to perform a duck jump. Stand directly in front of the vent and continue to press forward. Then jump, and while you're in the air, press your duck key. Good job! To descend on this ladder, simply walk directly into the ladder. Look down and continue moving forward. Climb up these pipes by walking directly into them while continuing to press forward. Jump into this tank of water and swim through the pipe below. To swim, simply look in the direction you want to swim and press forward. Watch your air supply closely while swimming. If you need to surface for air, an oxygen icon will light up on your display. By walking up to the button, looking at it, and pressing your use key. Proceed, you'll need to push that box through the corridor. Pushing is easy. Move forward against the box to push it out of your way. To pull this box, move up to it and press your use key. Hold the use key down to keep a grip on the object and move slowly backward. The object will come along with you. While gripping an object, you can also use strafe keys to move the object from side to side. To open this door, walk up to the control wheel, then press and hold the use key. Some doors will require you to press use to open them, especially in areas where stealth is important. Walk up to this door and press your use key to open the door. To close the door, simply walk up to the door and press the use key again. Hostage rescue zones can be identified by areas where the hostage rescue icon is visible. To lead the hostages to the rescue zone, you must approach a hostage and press the use key. They will follow you until they reach a rescue zone, or until you face them and press the use key again. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! I'm glad, I'm glad it's, it's over. over. This civilian to the security panel near the door. He will bypass the security and allow you to proceed. Okay. Welcome to the live fire ring. Here, you will receive training in firing weapons, reloading, mode switching, accuracy, and finally, explosives. Pick up your weapons and proceed to the firing station. If you run out of ammo, step to the ammo window for additional magazines. 
Also, try to reload during pauses, rather than running out of ammunition at a critical time. Okay, squeeze off a few rounds to get a feel for your weapon. Notice that when you fire, your crosshair expands with each shot. The size of the crosshair represents the accuracy of your weapon. The wider the crosshair, the less accurate your shots will be. To be effective in the field, use short controlled bursts to ensure accurate targeting. Engage three targets to continue. To switch firing modes on your weapon, press the secondary fire key. Engage all the targets to continue. Good job! Time to change weapons. Pick up your next weapons and proceed to the firing station. All sniper rifles can zoom in on a target using the secondary fire key. Engage all the targets to continue. explosive grenade. Toss the grenade at the target to continue. Finally, pick up the flashbang and smoke grenade. Flashbangs temporarily blind enemies, but if you look at it when it explodes, you'll be blinded as well. Ah, Turning away flashbang. from flashbangs when they're about to explode will limit the blinding effect. Smoke grenades also temporarily affect your enemy's Grenade. ability to accurately attack. Damn, Very smoke. useful Where in crowded firefight situations. Your offensive weapons training is complete. Please advance to the There's next too area. Much smoke! I can't see! Kevlar armor is essential to your survival in the field. Pick up your armor and proceed to the hazards area. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon light up. Directional indicators at the center of your display show you where damage is coming from. Such <laughs> med kits will restore your health. Walk up to this med kit and press your use key to administer first aid. While most med kits only contain enough first aid supplies for a single recovery, some kits can be used more than once. To use a med kit again, look at the remaining first aid items and press use again. Once the first aid items are gone, a med kit cannot be reused. Welcome to the counter-terrorist special equipment training. The first piece of equipment you'll use is the blowtorch. The blowtorch can only be used in blowtorch zones. A blowtorch zone can be identified by areas where a blowtorch icon is visible. Walk up to the table and pick up the blowtorch. Select the blowtorch and look at the lock on the door. With the blowtorch selected, press your fire key until the lock is destroyed. The next piece of equipment is the radio control bomb. Like the blowtorch, radio control bombs can only be used in radio bomb zones. Pick up the radio bombs and plant a bomb on the equipment. Once a radio bomb is planted, take cover and press your fire key to detonate the bomb. Move on to the next area. Pick up the digital camera to continue. This SAT-enabled digital camera is used to relay tactical data to command and control from the field. Take a digital picture of the sensitive equipment on this table to continue. Picture received. Move on. 
on to the next area. The fiber optic camera can be used to analyze tactical situations without revealing yourself to potential threats. Pick up the fiber optic camera and use it in the fiber optic zone to see what lies on the other side of that door. Use your fiber optic camera to sneak past the guard in the next area. If you're spotted, don't worry, you'll be able to try again. Take notice of the stealth icon while you're in dark areas in this room. Anytime you're in a stealth zone, enemies cannot see you and will not attack or alert others. Activate the flashlight. Navigate the flashlight area to continue. Good. Move on to the next area. The next piece of equipment is the radio. The radio is used to contact your counter-terrorist teammates from the field. Pick up the radio and use it in the radio zone. devices. This bomb has gone live. Providing cover. Position. To defuse the bomb, walk up to it, face the device, then press and hold your use key. Excellent. The device has been defused. Congratulations. You've completed the counter-terrorist special training course. Please return topside for processing. 